Welcome to Home Farm. So today we're planting up some blue and purple delphiniums, some hot pink penstemons, and some beautiful orange coraled uh, African queens. It's a perfect day for gardening. The weather is great, temperature's perfect. So we're going to be planting a variety of plants today, but I wanted to focus on three plants that we have never planted before in our, any of our gardens. So the first one I wanted to uh, mention was the Lobelia cephalitica. I really hope that my pronunciation is okay for all, <laughs> all of these. Um, it's also known as the Great Blue Lobelia. Um, and I'll just read a little bit on the tag. It's an erect deciduous perennial with numerous small blue flowers, late summer to mid autumn, grow in any moist soil in full sun or part shade. When we're putting them into part shade, they get morning sun in the spot that we've chosen for them. Um, 60 centimeters to 120 centimeters high, so they can get quite tall. Um, which is perfect because we do want some height here and I do want the uh, tops of the flowers. When I've seen the photographs of them and on this one as well, it looks like they predominantly flower from the top. There's no additional flowers that come from here. So um, that will give us a nice height and color. Um, and only about 30 centimeters wide, so they don't get too bushy and uh, it's quite a clear toxic if eaten. Um, so not planning to eat it, but hopefully it'll be really beautiful. This is Figilius exrectus, um, African queen, uh, also a perennial. And when all these were in flower, it was really, really gorgeous and very noticeable. Um, but at the moment it's between flowers. These are going over the top. So it, should, it will be expected to flower again. And it's a semi evergreen. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty prolific on flowering. Um, so that will be really um, lovely because they are just such pretty, delicate flowers. I really like these. It wants to be in a um, moist, well-drained soil, but it, what I like about this plant for us is that it actually is um, capable of being planted, apparently, in neutral acid or alkaline soil. So that works for us with our very high alkaline um, while we're still doing our soil conditioning. Habit is bushy and hardness is H4, so fairly tolerant and just wants to be in a fairly sheltered position, I think, in, for the winter. So we are putting it in flower borders that are quite sheltered. Moving on to one of my new found favourites, the Delphinium, apparently Black Knight. We think it's Black Knight. We bought five of them and four of them are the same colour and labelled Black Knight. Um, the fifth one is a different colour. It's not as purple. It's much more on the blue side, um, but it was also considered it was also labeled black knights so um, I think it is if you know for sure please let us know but um, just beautiful and I just love this color in our garden it works for us perfectly so apparently delphiniums grow best in cool moist summer um, climates um, which is perfect for us obviously being here on the Welsh border we do definitely have a cooler climate um, and it wants to be in more of a part sun to full sun preferably a full sun I think that they flower more apparently if it's in full sun so we are gonna um, put some on a flower border that gets morning sun and we're gonna put some into another flower um, flower border area which has full sun so that would be quite good because we'll be able to actually compare and see um, but they are both going to be in a fairly um, well sheltered position so not into any direct wind so um, we're hoping that that doesn't they don't incur any wind damage and um, that they can just thrive in the positions we're putting them in. We will be um, doing some soil conditioning and putting in a lot of um, grit into where we're planting them because they really have to be in excellent drainage. So that means that um, our, with us very, having a very heavy um, clay type soil, um, we do tend to get a little bit waterlogged sometimes. So I'm gonna be adding a lot of compost. They're heavy feeders of um, delphiniums apparently. They like to feed quite a lot, especially when they're flowering. So I'm gonna make sure that I have a rich compost um, that I'm gonna add some additional fertilizer to as well. And we'll be doing some regular feeding with them to ensure that they are blooming and blossoming um, to their potential. Olive is around here somewhere, um, eager to get planting. So let's join her and get some of these plants into the ground and see what they're like in their new positions.
So that's the first Delphinium N. As you guys know, we are not um, in any way qualified gardeners or expert gardeners, and this is the first time we've ever planted Delphiniums. So I really am just going off what I've read and what my local garden center has advised me to do. I'm digging a hole um, that's really nice and wide. I'm removing all of this soil. Not only have we got um, this heavy, heavy soil, but look, we've actually got really big rocks. We managed to get everything in, which is fantastic. Uh, as you uh, may have seen on our previous video, where we showed that we had brought everything, the plants back from the garden center, we planted up this first bed um, here, and we'd also done uh, the agapanthas and the fuchsias. So today we finished off doing the remainder of the flower beds. Uh, we put, put a, a labellia um, giant blue in here, which obviously um, hasn't flowered yet, but it's in bud and it's on its way. An African queen went in here. I, I just love it. I think it's gonna be really great, especially against this Mexican orange. This Mexican orange um, is in desperate need of some iron. As you can see, he is supposed to be a, a darker green. Um, so we will be treating him soon uh, and putting in some uh, iron supplements. And then down this side, this is one of my new favorite sides. We've got the beautiful, blue and purple delphiniums. And I've staggered it because um, we ended up with five delphiniums. And as I said before, we had one blue one out of four purples. So um, this makes sense because we've got the purple delphinium, we've got a blue agapantha coming up here. So that will be nice and blue there, and then a purple and then the blue delphinium. So it's gonna be a nice continuation of the blue and purple colors. This is a lily that was put in by the previous owners. It's never flowered before, so it's in bud now. I'm excited to see what color that's gonna come out like. And then as we come down the garden, we've got our uh, pink uh, garnet penstemons and some more African queens. And then we've actually repeated it here as well with the pentamens and the African queens again, just so that when you look down the garden, there's a really nice kind of flow. I like that repetition. 
it's it just gives for me my garden it just makes me feel like there's a real flow and continuation um, on the eye so it's just my preference but I think it's going to look really lovely and then as we come down this little path this is where our shed and our garden store area is there was just this empty area here so we snuck in three beautiful uh, fuchsias and they've just got that real nice pop of colour. I will be trimming these back um, in the next couple of days just to give them some uh, room to grow upwards but um, it should be really nice bright bit of colour in this area and that's this bamboo and everything so when you come down to the shed you feel like you've still got some flowers to look at. And then as you come around this flower bed, we had two delphiniums left, so we put them in here. And I think it's really, really nice. Once this lavender uh, path has grown in, you'll just have such a nice path of lavender and ending with this, these two blue delphiniums, which really mimic the same color as the lavender, but give it that impact of height. So it was a good day of gardening. I think we got a lot done. Um, all the plants are looking great. Uh, as they mature, they're only gonna fill out and start to get even more established. And that's when we're really gonna see the whole garden come to life. But it's certainly made a massive difference and I'm really pleased with how it's looking. We are not at the end of our jobs. We've still got plenty of things going on. I've got the lemon tree containers that I need to plant out. I'm gonna be doing a blue salvia theme around the bottom of the lemon tree and then I've got a front door porch container that's got to be filled and a uh, floral white theme uh, container for the front of the garage. So we look forward to seeing you in those videos. Please subscribe and ring the bell and we hope to see you on our next video and thank you very much for watching.